guys! Today we're going to make an impressionistic painting. Now to do that, we're going to need some paint material. You can do it with some watercolors, like this. If you're going to use watercolors, you need to activate them. To do that, you're just going to take a little bit of water and put a couple of drops of water in the colors you're going to use. So to do that, you just take clean water and drop some drops in the colors you're going to need. So since we're doing a Monet painting, one that's going to look like a Monet painting actually, we're just going to put some greens and some blues and yellows right now. So I'm just activating yellows and blues, maybe a few purples. So I'm just putting them in quickly and they'll, while we're talking, they'll activate for me. Alrighty. So, well that's going, you can also use this kind of paint, which is tempera paint. And I just put out purple, um, I didn't have green, so I'm going to mix my green by using blue and yellow, which make green when we mix them together. And I have, I didn't really have a purple, so I'm using a magenta, which will be fine. So, Monet is famous impressionist, French impressionist, and he's famous for his water lilies underneath a bridge. So we're going to do that. Now to do that, what you're going to need is a white crayon. If you don't have a white crayon, you can use a white oil pastel. Or you can use um, a crayon that would be like a yellow or a brown. Okay, so pick one of them. I have a yellow one. I have a, a tan one. Any color you think that would look like a bridge. Okay, and to make the bridge, what you want to do is you want to make um, an a sad face, a sad face. So I have my paper and I'm going to hold my paper up. When you're doing watercolors, you never ever want to hold your paper up because they're watery and they'll run. So we don't want that to happen. So the first thing we're going to do, this painting is going to be what's called a resist. A resist is when you use uh, a wax or an oil that's going to resist the water, okay? It's kind of like a science project. So I'm going to take this, uh, this color is actually a gold color, and I'm going to make a simple um, arc, which is my sad face. Okay, so I'm going to start at one side of the page, and I'm going to make my big sad face for my bridge. And I'm just going to arc it right there. And that's going to be my bridge from Monet's bridge. And underneath that, I'm going to echo it again. And mom or whoever's there with you can help you with this. So I have a little bit of a bridge. I hope you all can see this. Now you can make it brown, like I said, you can make it copper, any colors you want really. And you can color this in actually, add a little color. You can add different colors on top of it. Let's say I'll just take a brown out. I want you guys to be able to see it, so I'm going to make mine a little darker than I would if I was doing it for myself. So I'm just going to add some more color on it. And I'm going to do mine quickly. Now underneath this, I want to add a few lines that's going to run um, parallel to the side of the page. Parallel means they will never ever meet. So I'm just going to make some vertical lines going down. I'm going to skip a little and go down a little vertical line going down. Skip a little, go down a little bit. And they're about the same. Skip a little, go down. Skip a little and 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 go down. I'm going to do this all along it. And this is going to be the like the um, railing for the bridge. So you don't want to fall off a bridge. That would not be fun. So see I have my bridge. okay, And then underneath it I want to do the bottom part of the bridge. The part you would walk on. So I have the railing. And I'm echoing the top line of the bridge. So now I have the two lines of the bridge. okay. So here it is, so simple. So I basically made sad faces and lines. It looks almost like teeth, doesn't it? So there you go. And like I said, you could use white. Like here I have a white. I can just go right over with white too. I'm going to add a little bit of white on top of it, my oil pastel. So I want to just make sure that um, I have some white up there. Okay, and a white line up here. Perfect. Okay, now once you have that, that's perfect. 
with my white crayon, I want to add some lines in my water too. My water always lies flat. Water, unless it's a waterfall, it's lying flat, okay, or a wave in the ocean. Water's, I'm just going to make some lines in my water where it's lying flat. Okay, my water's lying flat. Okay, water under the bridge. Some water under the bridge, like ripples, ripples of water. Now you can't really see them, so I'm going to go in with a green crayon so you can see what I just did. And I'm going to pretend this is what I just did. I just went like this. But do this with a white crayon. You're going to do this with a white crayon. I hope you all can see that. There you go. Can you, I hope that's with a white crayon you're doing. I'm just doing it with the green so you guys can see it. Okay? Got it? Now pause the video if you need to catch up with me. Okay. So we have our bridge. Sad faces. Sad face. Sad face. And lines to make the railing of the bridge. Got it. Okay. And so you have your white. Good, good, good. Good, good, good. Okay. Now we're ready for the fun part, the painting part. And this is my most fun part of it because you can't really go wrong in this part. Okay. So in this, it's um, really fun. You want to roll your sleeves up past your elbows. Just like I always say, when we're painting, we roll our sleeves up. Get your hair. I got to get my hair out of my face. Oof. Okay. And I'm ready to paint. So I'm going to hold my paint up. You don't. Okay. I'm right handed. So I put my paint on my right side. I don't need my crayons anymore. Clean your workspace. Okay. You, paper towels handy in case there's a boo-boo. It happens. It happens. It's all right. No right or wrong in art. But things happen. It's the way of the world. Murphy's Law. Okay. So, here we go. So, I have my paper. And I'm going to paint like this. So, you never know what, I never know what's going to happen until I see it at the end. But we'll just go with it. Take your brush. Make sure he's clean by dipping them in the water and wiping them on your paper towel. Yep. Mine's clean. And now, I'm going to start by dipping them in a green. Pick your green. Now, if I'm using this color, I just want to start off with my lightest color, my yellow. Dip a little blue into it and I'll mix up a green. Ooh, that's a nice light green. Yeah, add more blue to it if I want. Yeah, permanent green light right there. Like that. Ooh, yeah. I like that. Nice color. Okay, and you can add more water if you want. Get that in there. Okay, cool. And I'm just going to start going right around it, right here. Let's just dab, 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 dab. Now, Impressionist. He just started dabbing all around. Look at that. Dab, 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 dab. Dab, dab, dab. Now I did on this side. I'm going to do the same thing on that side. So much fun. I'm going to do the same thing on this side of the bridge. Dab, 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 dab. Dab, 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 dab. So I got to do. And notice how I'm not really, I'm just dabbing my colors. I'm not really brushing them in. I want them to look like they're all over the place. I'm not blending them. I'm letting them blend themselves on the paper. That's what's so beautiful about it. The Impressionists were great that way. And where I put the white crayon, watch this. Add a little bit of water to my paintbrush. No more paint. I'm going to go right over top of my bridge. And look, where I put the crayon, my paint's not going to go. Look at that. My bridge is still standing. Pretty amazing, huh? I'm going to go over here, grab a little more water, no more paint. Go right on top of my bridge. Look at that. My bridge is still there. Grab some more paint. Yeah. Come on down. Go right on top of it. Go on top. Get a little more green. I'm going to grab some watercolors. Oh, yeah. Get a little darker green watercolor this time. Oh, yeah. Pretty nice, huh? I could throw a little brown in there. I could throw a little blue in there. A little Whatever I wanted, really. There's no right or wrong. There you go. Get a little more water up here. Let it blend in. Let, them, let the colors just play with each other. Have fun with this. This is watercolors. That means you got to add water. First word of it. Water. Okay? Water. Water, water, water. Water, water everywhere. Get some water on it. Now... It's a bridge over water. Water lilies. It's a 
it's a bridge over water lilies, so I gotta add some water, right? Wash off my brush, make sure he's nice and clean, rinse, 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 wipe, wipe, wipe. And now I'm gonna add some water. I'm gonna grab some blue. I'm using my water cars. And water lies flat, so I'm gonna use a, a stroke that's horizontal this time. So watch this. Horizontal. Horizontal line. Grab some water. Horizontal line. Horizontal line. Horizontal line. Grab some more paint. Horizontal line. Yeah, good to know these words. Horizontal line. Grab a different color blue this time. I don't need the same blue each time. I can toss it up. There's no right or wrong in art. It's cool. Let it go. Have fun with this. Let your blues blend together. Look at this. Come over here. Get, get a little bit on the grass over here where the bushes are coming in. This is an impressionistic painting. It doesn't have to look realistic. You're giving the impression of a bridge reflecting in the water. The trees, the bushes, everything, the bridge reflecting in that water. That's the whole idea of impressionism. Woo, there you go. I can leave a little bit of white showing. Woo, I went right over my bridge. Woo, over my bridge. Grab a little water over that bridge. Go, go, go. Woo, woo, woo. Yeah, there we go. Up here, I'm going to add a little more green. Go back for my green. Woo, here we go. Woo, -wee. here we go. There we go. All righty. Now, watercolors dry pretty fast. This is kind of a mixed medium because we're doing a resist. Like I said, see the white, the white crayon I should put in there? That white crayon showing through, huh? Now, use your dry brush. This time, dry it off a little bit and pick up a little bit of the dry color around the sides. You can go in and, and dab some dry color in. Now, if I don't like a section, grab a paper towel and say, Ooh, maybe I'll pick up some color. Dry this off a bit. White, 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 white. So now I want to add some dry color on it. Let me do that. Wipe off my brush. Wipe them off real good. And let me pick up a little bit of uh, this dirty color right here on the side. Miss Cece likes doing this stuff. I'm going to add a little brown up in here. Right here, I'm just going like, to get a little dirtiness. Okay. A little down here. Play around. Get some, get, get some of this in here. There's no right or wrong. Play around with it. Okay, and he had lily pads. Remember we talked about the lily pads? So think about the color of lily pads you want. I want a dark green. So for my dark green, I might mix a color. So I'm going to pick a little bit of this color. I used a lid. So I'm going to grab a little bit of brown, mix it with a little bit of green, maybe a little bit of this green until I find a color I like. Um, maybe a little chop of blue to it. Yeah, I'm liking that color. Okay, and I'm going to put a little lily pad right here. So a lily pad just a little line right there like that. Right here. There you go, lily pad. Lily pad right here. Give me a lily pad right here. Big fat lily pad right there. Lily pad over here. Give me a little darker lily pad right here. Lily pads. Sticking some lily pads in here. My lily pads are basically just big C's, kind of like happy faces. Kind of like a green Pac-Man smushed. I don't know if you guys know who Pac-Man is, but I'm a product of the 80s. Alright, so here we go. Pac-Man, got him in. New baby ones, okay. Put him underneath the bridge. Throw some of this in the grass, right? Not over here. Why not do it? No right or wrong. Throw some up here. Can't hurt, right? No right or wrong. Okay, get that in here. Go over here. Bum, 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 Yep, yep, yep. Texture, texture. We love our texture and art. All right, and now clean off my brush again. And this time I want to add a few flowers on my lily pads. I'm going to go with a little pink. So dry brush, dry them off, dry them off. Go for a little bit of, not going to add any more water, just touching my pink right here. I'm going to put a little pink right here. Woo, there you go. Essence of it. Right here, just a little. There you go. How's that? What do you think of that right there? And maybe over here I'll just add a couple, just here or there, wherever I want. Okay? 
And if you think your bridge needs more, what you could do is, my bridge might not be showing up enough for, for here. I'm like going to darken it a little bit. Add a little bridge just here or there, just to make sure he's showing up enough. You can go back in after it's dry, but basically you play around with it, have fun. There's no way wrong in this, but have a great time. But this is my interpretation interpretation of Monet's bridge with lily pads. But have fun with it. It's an impressionistic painting, so it's your impression of it. Have fun playing with your watercolors, and it's a resist, so just put your crayons down first. Make sure you use lots of water, and uh, clean up after yourselves. Don't make mom do all the cleanup. Have fun. Have a great day, guys. Enjoy your painting. Bye. See you soon.